i just want to briefly say that i think you all are great since i don't have that much time i just want to get that out the way um oftentimes we're united for our struggle and the things that we're striving for our common interests but more often than not we're divided by our differences and our opinions and, and the factors that that create them with that being said um I want to take some time to talk about Proposition 64, which is the legalization of recreational use of marijuana. I know it's a taboo issue, especially you know, with a lot of... You, you know that? I do know that. And you're doing it? Huh? But at the same time, I wanna, there are there are other uh, aspects to it that go further than just the use of a drug. You know, if we've ever taken coffee, we're using drugs. If we've ever taken medicine, we've used drugs. You don't the way that we don't go to jail for the use of marijuana anymore either. And I want to make sure that the, that the city of Rialto implements the laws and to keep it that way. Because the implementation of marijuana is more important than the law passing. Because the taxes drive a, drive a certain direction and it's up to us to decide which direction it goes in. It can go to the general fund and to the police or it can go to community-based organizations. It can go to schools, it can go to feeding the homeless. It can go to where Proposition 55 is no longer needed, and the upper class don't have to pay their taxes to pay for the lower class communities. There's a lot of direction that we can take these things instead of getting bogged down by our differences. We all have common interests. We want our communities to be better. We can't go back in the past anymore, but we can fix the future with the tools that are made available to us. And I would like you guys to take, take some time to really consider the direction that we're going in with the resources available to us and actually use this cannabis industry to better our streets and to better our community because it's not going anywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my name is Greg Jones and I represent England Congregations United for Change out of Riverside and San Bernardino. I see you. Good. Uh, I see you. Mr. Jones, I just want to say you, your point is well taken and absolutely on point. For the city of Rialto, just so you know, I've been back and look, the Proposition 64 has been voted on and passed by the citizens in the state of California. In the city of Rialto, the citizens of Rialto, those that participated in the voting process, also voted in support of it. So from a business and revenue and what it can mean, we need to keep our minds open and we need to look forward. So I applaud you for standing up and saying that some of us need to get off of always worrying about the fact that if it's there, we're going to automatically uh, succumb to it. And Mayor, can we can he have a little so Can he have a conversation with you after the after the event? Can he get with you right after this right here and go for a discussion? Yes. The yes. Of time, we still have a resource fair outside. Yeah. Right. I don't want to leave, leave y'all high and dry, but I'm about to, to go. It's a happy note time. You don't want to you know, finish this off, get that group picture and all that. Yeah. You can put a comment in it. No comment for the panelists right now. Give us a minute. Well, they don't take spirit to get up and say something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.